Hello and welcome to my workshop. I feel a little bit like a, a gunslinger uh, this week. Of course I'm in stereo now. Well, I'm not sure what how much stereo effect there's going to be. So I've got two mics just here with the radio transmitters here. Um, so I'm just doing a couple of tests uh, as I do the video today. So today, what we're going to... Now, the last video last week... Um, what I did, uh, I set the 6040 up with Mark III um, and just got the motors running and I gave information to, and enough information just to get the motors running. Now this week what I'm going to do is we're going to tune, fine tune everything in. We're going to get the Z height tool, uh, setting, setting tool all set up. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that uh, in Mark III. Also, optimize the acceleration uh, of the motors and the, the speed in which they operate. And I'll show you how to do that in Mark III. In other words, speed them all up so it operates at an efficient level. You'll probably notice that a fair bit faster on this machine than anything else that you'll see on YouTube because um, this machine is built to an, an industrial standard, as much of an industrial standard that you can uh, manufacture a 6040 machine. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing to do now is come up to config and open up there, go to motor tuning. Okay, so these are the figures that we uh, put in last time just to get the motors running and just to say, well, we got the machine operating. And I can tell you that velocity, now this is inches or millimeters per second. Now this machine is uh, set in the metric scale, so in our case it's millimeters per second velocity. Now we're going to say 3000. For that, and for acceleration, we'll try 50. Save axes. Enter. OK. And I always press the reset on and off. It reconfigures Mark III. And we'll see what that looks like. See, it's a very sort of <laughs> sedentary uh, sort of uh, acceleration up to maximum speed and a, a you know sort of a pretty relaxed deacceleration as well. So let's try that again. Okay so I think we can alter that, uh, we can speed that up quite a bit more. Okay back in the config, motor tuning, it's already set on at the x-axis. Now I know this machine uh, the perfect uh, setting for the acceleration is 200. Save. OK. And I'll show you what that looks like. And there's the difference. So now we have a fairly immediate acceleration and deacceleration, and the head is operating um, fairly quickly. 
Pin. All directions. So now this is properly set up. This is set up for this machine, this particular machine. Okay, now we're going to set up slow jog and fast jog. Now if you'll notice, if I press these arrows and jog it around, uh, it's moving at full fast jog speed. Now I'll show you the reason for that and how to alter it. So if you press the tab key, uh, you get a, a, an MPG flyout, which is built into Mac 3. Now, if you see here, slow jog rate is set at 100%. So, to be able to get the slow jog rate, what we're going to do is take this percentage down to, I think, 50%. And press enter, tab. So now you have a slow jog rate, but if you press shift, you have the fast speed. So that's how you, you get uh, obtain uh, fast jog and slow jog. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is home the machine. So that's uh, simply done by pressing the home on Mac 3. Don't know whether you can see that little red light there. Uh, this is the uh, indicator LED uh, saying, uh, telling me that the proximity switch has uh, triggered and uh, stopped the axes. Okay, there are three of these um, proximity sensors. One here for the Y, one here for the X and there's one inside this cowling here for the, the Z. And you can see they, they do a fantastic job. Now, you know already that this is a 6040 machine, being 400 millimeters of operation in the X and 600 in the Y. Well, should I say? this machine has been, been designed to. 98% of the so-called 6040 machines bought from eBay or anywhere else for that matter, um, you'll get them, you'll purchase them and get them home and you'll find that the operation, all right, the cut, cutting bed then or the the, the cutting envelope of the machines is far from that. Uh, there will be about uh, 350 by about 500 or 550. They are not true 6040s. This one is. <coughs> so now what I'm going to show you is the setup uh, for the soft limits or in other words, telling Mark III the operational template of this machine. So Mark III won't allow the cutter to go outside of these limits. Okay, the next job we're going to do now, uh, now we've honed uh, Mark III, or the machine with Mark III. We're going to go into config, uh, go to Homing in limits. Okay, so here we have, um, and this is set up for this particular machine. So you have the X uh, soft maximum is 400. The Y soft maximum is 600. And the Z soft maximum is minus 85. So it registers zero at the top of the stroke, not the bottom. Actually, just before we go to there, 
Uh, you, if you notice that the soft limit here is green, that means the soft limit is turned on. So you must make sure that that is turned on at all times. I'll jog the head over. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I think you can see me there. I'll just check with the camera that you can see. Yep, you can see my finger. Now I'm going to hold my finger down. I'm going to put it on fast jog, hold my finger down, and Mark III is going to shut this down about two or three millimeters before it comes into the contact with this, or the hard limit. And this is what soft limits do. It electronically shuts it down because Mark III, the program, knows the limitations now of this machine. With your machine, you will receive a, a thumb drive or a flash drive. Uh, on that flash drive is all the drivers for Mark III, for pendant, um, for the card inside, um, you know, the, the USB card, all the drivers necessary for Mac 3 to operate. Okay, um, the drivers that I was just speaking about uh, to go into Mac 3, one of them is a script. Now, when I say a script, it's uh, a description in G code um, of Oh, it's in certain instructions for Mac 3 what to tell it what to do with the Z height tool setter. Okay, now to get at the script editor for the tool setter, you go into operator, edit button, script and you'll find that the auto tool zero will flash. Now you click on that and this is the script editor. So all you do is open the document up, copy it and paste it in here. Okay, that's all you do to set the uh, tool setter up and press X and then this will come up do you want to save changes and you press yes. Okay, so that is the instructions taken care of into Mac 3. There's still a little job that you have to do. And what you have to do is get your tester, get a cheap vernier. It's probably better to do it with the vernier and measure it. In this case it is 19.2 millimeters. Now I'll show you where to put that figure into Mark 3. Okay, so what you need to do, because this is an offset, okay, so you have to tell Mark 3 the, the actual size of that it's actually, it was closer to 19.2. Um, and see this? Gauge block height. Because to Mark 3, that is a gauge block. So you go into here, and you go 19.0, and you must press enter, and it goes there, and you can ba come back into the run screen now. Now I always press reset and reset off again. That seems to rejig Mark 3. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the tool test and see if it actually works. I'm sure it will. Um, so we'll jog over. Make sure that's underneath there. And now what you press is here, auto tool set. So you just get the cursor, press that. 
actually it's going to take all day. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to come down a little bit manually. Otherwise it's going to take 10 minutes to come down. So here we go. I'm pressing auto tool set now. And it retracts 10 millimeter up off that. And you'll see the figure here. I'll zoom in on the, on the figure now. So you will note now that uh, Mark III has um, retracted up off the material 29 millimeters. So it, Mark III knows that that tool is exactly 29 millimeters off the zero of the material. Okay, there's one last thing to check now, and that is the spindle. And I'll show you how to do that without having to write a program or anything for it. You can do it straight in Mark III. Okay, it's very easily done. You come to the MDI, which is the Manual Data Input Screen, and in here, you highlight here, and you put in, like I've already got there, but S10,000, press Enter, and this, so we've given Mark III a command. So now we come out of uh, out of that screen into the program run screen. So we come over here, press on the spindle start, and up, up it'll go to 10,000. It's as easy as that. And to stop it, you press it same again. I hope you've enjoyed the video today, and I hope it's been useful to you. And um, I hope you pop in and see one of my other videos um, on CNC routing, um, wood turning, laser work. I do quite a bit with lasers now, and shop jobs that I do around here. So thank you very much for joining me, and uh, bye for now.